Hokey dokey. In this problem, we are checking to see which graph has a consistent or constant slope the entire time. In other words, proving that it is a linear function. So we're trying to find which one of these is actually linear by finding slope between the first two points and comparing it to the slope between the second and third points. So what I like to use is just rise over run. It's a little bit easier. I think it's more efficient than using the slope formula. It just takes less time in my opinion. So I'm going to work this one out a little faster. This is my second example of this problem. So if you want more of a uh, breakdown, please visit the first example. All right, so we're starting with the first two points here. The rise from 7 to 10 is 3, while the run from 6 to 8 is 2. We want to see if 3 over 2 is equal to the slope between the second and third points. So from here to here, we have a rise from 10 to 12 of 2, and a run from 8 to 9 of 1. 3 over 2 and 2 over 1, 3 over 2 is not equal to 2 over 1. Because these slopes between these two points, or these two segments, are not equal, this is not a linear function, although it may appear so. So we move on to the second graph, checking the slope between these two points. The rise from 27 to 37 is 10, and the run from 6 to 8 is 2. 10 over 2 is equal to 5, so we want to see, does the slope between these two points equal 5. We have 37 to 43 as the rise, so that would be a rise of 6. Not looking good so far, so 8 to 9 has a run of 1. So the question is, does 6 over 1 or 6 equal 5? Of course not, so this is not linear either. We move on to option C, where we have a rise from 21 to 27 of 6, a run from 6 to 8 of 2, so we have 6 over 2, which is 3. So we want to check, does the slope between here and here equal 3? We have a rise from 27 to 30 of 3, so far so good, and a run from 8 to 9 of 1. 3 over 1 is in fact equal to 3. So because the slope of the first, uh, I guess between the first two segments, or first two points, is equal to the slope between these two points, this has a consistent slope and is therefore our linear function. And I won't even check this one because I think you get the point by now. All right.